when you pick up this dress tomorrow, you will officially be the most fabulous bride in Miami. <laughs> Thanks. I hope Charles likes it. Oh. Shelly, are you all right? It's just that sending a wedding dress off into the world always chokes me up. <laughs> I remember when you were just a twinkle in my eye. <laughs> they grow up so fast. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's PMSing. <laughs> and I'm bloated, too. Oh. Thanks for all your hard work, guys. <laughs> now all I have to do is confirm that they've laid the plexiglass dance floor over the swimming pool. Wow. Is this Charles you're marrying going to be the king of England? <laughs> no. But his mother is a bitch, too. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. I better get to the cleaners before they close, or I'll be wearing my eighth grade drill team uniform to work tomorrow. <laughs> Did you run out of your Mexican Botox? No. I just came back from paying the rent on my storage space. I am so broke. Thank God I found a busted parking meter. Well, that was lucky. Luck. All it takes is a screwdriver and a rat tail comb. <laughs> Why don't you just sell all that stuff you have in storage? Yeah. You could have a garage sale. You can do it at my house. My belongings are like my children. So kiss them goodbye before you sell them. <laughs> Rita, if you have enough money to pay storage space, you have enough money to pay me rent. Is Saturday a good day for a garage sale? <laughs> <laughs> you guys work out the details. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Hey, guys. Hey, Donovan. Oh, good, Shelly's not here. Um, listen, JT and Nick and I are going to the movies. Do you want to come? Oh, fine. No, we probably shouldn't go without Shelly. Oh, yeah, you're mm. right. She wouldn't like us hanging out with JT behind her back. No, she wouldn't. Hi, Shelly. I thought you were going to the cleaners. I forgot my ticket, just like you forgot you were my friend. Oh, how can you say that? We're all friends. How stupid do I look? <laughs> you mean right now or last week when you wore that red cowboy hat? <laughs> that hat matched my boots. <laughs> that is not a strong argument. <laughs> Quit trying to change the subject. I don't want you guys hanging out with JT. Give it a rest. We have talked this breakup to death. We have listened to you whine about JT until Rita's ears actually started bleeding. No, that wasn't from Shelly. That was from those earrings I bought at the car wash. I don't care. You were my friends first, and I should get custody. Well, actually, Shells, I, I didn't meet JT through you. But I've known you longer. We met exactly nine months before you met JT. We could have had a baby together before you even knew he existed. <laughs> A baby? <laughs> so you thought we came straight too, did you? No. <laughs> Shelly, we're all friends. Your breakup with JT has not changed that. Now, Rita and I are going to that movie. We'd like for you to join us, if you can handle it. Handle it? I can handle a trip to the movies. Let's go. Yeah. So, um, so no chemistry at all? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. But if you were able to change your partner to... Who likes to look fly? I can pick up any guy with a slick rap line. Give him the eye, get the keys to the ride, and live the single life, little teasing on the side. She's the type of chick who likes to wear fly clothes. It rocks the lead toes, but we'll get get told. If anybody knows, I'ma tell you who knows. Who's spinning the cash flow? Let the story be told. EVE. How you do that? 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 Shelly coming is a good idea. You know, we only broke up six weeks ago. That's it? Feels like I've been hearing about it for six months. I do not want to sit next to JT. I don't want to see Chris Rock act. But here we are. Hey. Hey, y'all. Look, don't tell Marty I came. I told him I'd wait to see this movie with him. You mean Marty has some strange rules? You call it strange. I call it married. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, Shelly, you look nice. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna 
go get popcorn. Does any uh, give me a large tub and uh, coke? Uh, me too. Um, you want to pass your money down, chef? Cheapskate. <laughs> I'm through paying for your tape, one. Hey, you know, uh, Shelly, um, I get this one, my trait. <sighs> Thank you, Donovan. Real men pay. Yeah, that's true. Of course, there are exceptions. <laughs> when the hell is this movie gonna start? <laughs> I hear this film's really good. Yeah, and I think Angelina Jolie went at the lip side. Ooh, you know, she must go through a tooth of lipstick a day. I know. Could you guys keep it down, please? Why? The movie hasn't even started yet. Yeah, but I'm trying to answer the trivia questions. I need to concentrate. <laughs> Why don't you concentrate on not worrying about what I'm doing down here? Well, how could I? You're so loud, the whole theater can hear you. Shh. See? She wasn't shushing me. She was shushing you. Good guys, guys, come on. Come on, let's just... Let's just watch the movie. Yeah. We're supposed to be having fun. Well, I was until JT started shushing me like he's somebody's mama. Me? You started? Shh. Oh, shh. Guys, 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 will you both just sit down so we can watch the movie? Sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you and your party to leave. You... Believe me, buddy, this ain't a party. <laughs> you really showed your behind last night. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that as soon as I saw JT, I got so mad. It was a red haze in front of my eyes. <laughs> Ooh, you sound kind of crazy. In that case, I shouldn't mention a little voice in my head that kept saying, stab him, stab him. <laughs> Okay, we'll hold off on the homicide until after my garage sale. JT's gonna help me move the heavy stuff. He's gonna be there? In that case, I can't go. You know you didn't want to help. Yeah, but now I have a real excuse. <laughs> oh, I have held my tongue. Since when? <laughs> All right, I haven't held my tongue. But you won't listen. You and JT are over. Just let it go. Yeah, life goes on, Shells. <sighs> Oh, excuse me. I dare to share. Clearly, no one cares about my feelings. I'll just go bleed inside. <laughs> Fine, just don't bleed on the carpet. Hi, Claudia. Your dress is ready. It is so beautiful. It'll make you cry. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> there isn't going to be a wedding. <gasps> oh, honey, what happened? I just found out that Charles got another woman pregnant. I am so sorry. How much do I owe you? Don't the balance is one thousand. <laughs> Sweetie, don't worry about the dress. We've got his credit card number on file. Look, I know you're hurt now, but in time you're gonna start to feel better. What you need to do is talk things out with a sympathetic friend. And Lord knows those are hard to find. <laughs> Do you have a minute? Oh, come on, let's go upstairs. I'll make you some tea and we can talk about it as much as you need to. And I'll listen, because that's what good friends do. <laughs> and I promise I'll never go to the movies with Charles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then that creep had the nerve to say that we should still get married. And what, make his baby's mama a bridesmaid? <laughs> Thanks for listening, Shelly. It felt good to talk this out. I feel like I'm in a bad Usher video. Hmm. Yeah, well, Usher should have kept his damn confessions to himself. Charles wasted the last three years of my life. My ex wasted a year of mine. You know, Janie and Rita think I should be over it already. They actually think we should be friends. Yeah, like Ike and Tina are still friends. <laughs> you can't be friends with a man who broke your heart. I want to hurt him like he hurt me. I completely understand. I have the same feelings. But according to the self-help book, wanting revenge is normal. Even if you hear a little voice saying, run him over, run him over. <laughs> totally normal. <sighs> it's part of the healing process. You just can't act on it. But don't we deserve some closure? I mean, JT stomped on your heart and then wiped his feet on it. <laughs> And he does have some big-ass feet. We need to make these guys pay. We can't do that. But just for argument's sake. 
What will we do? <laughs> well, for starters, that book. What? I should throw it at him. <laughs> no. We need to think bigger. Let's get him where it hurts. Well, I have written some pretty disturbing things in my journal I'd like to do to him. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it, and we'll brainstorm. Ooh. Oh, my God, Claudia. He likes a getaway driver. I've been searching for The movie's turned into such a disaster. Well, that's because Shelly's so immature. <laughs> yeah, you really took the high road with that shushing fight. Well, I miss having all six of us hang out like we used to. Yeah, well, I miss regular sex, so we're all suffering. <laughs> Rita, why aren't you setting up the garage sale outside, in the garage? I thought it would be nicer to have more of an estate auction. You know, like it's Sotheby's or Christie's. You are awfully uppity for someone who lives in my guest room. Okay, the first item up for bid is this lovely Italian leather chair. Let's start the bidding at $1,000. Oh, um... Oh, oh, it, this, this, this is the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. The leather is like butter. Pure Italian butter. <laughs> I'll give you ten dollars. Ten dollars? This chair cost me two grand. He's sitting in butter. I'll give you twelve, but I want it delivered. You see? This is why I don't hang out with poor people. <laughs> you look happy. I have had the most productive day. First, I canceled all of Charles's utilities. You didn't. I did. <laughs> I love it. You have such a sweet face, but a heart of darkness. <laughs> I feel so good. Getting back at Charles is just what I needed. So, what'd you do to JT? Hmm. Let me borrow your cell phone. Can I speak to J.T. Hunter? Uh, speaking. Hi, my name is Ernest. Ernest Johnson. And I'm calling on behalf of Mr. Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal? Shaq, what about Shaq? Can he get some tickets? Tell him I love Kazan. <laughs> uh, yes. Unfortunately, he pulled his groin. Bedroom injury. <laughs> oh, been there. Who hasn't? Yeah, but uh, why doesn't he just go to the team trainer? Oh, uh, he's embarrassed. <laughs> and you come highly recommended as the best physical therapist in town. <laughs> well, yes, I, I am the best. <laughs> I'm your groin man. <laughs> Great, uh, dog. So, uh, Shaq will meet you at your office tomorrow morning at 6 a.m.? Uh, 6 a.m. tomorrow? Oh, that's, that's off early, um, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's early for me, too, man. I like to sleep in on Sunday. <laughs> Hey, suit yourself, buddy. We can always find someone else. No, 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 no. I'll, uh, I'll be there. Um, thank you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we gonna meet Shaq. <laughs> well, we. I'm sorry, man, but uh, this is business. Either I go with you or I go without you. But I'm going. So, how do you feel now? I feel great. Mm -hmm. Or should I say... Great, dog. <laughs> How much for these? A hundred dollars. I'll give you ten. Sold. Why did you just sell my soul? I'll give you twenty bucks for it. Oh, oh uh, I am so sorry. No problem. Whoever selling this stuff has great taste. Well, oh, thank you. Your purse is fabulous. How much was it? Two hundred. I'll give you one fifty. Deal. There we go. One fifty. Enjoy. Thank you. Did that woman just hand you her purse? Purse? What purse? Oh, where did this come from? I've been framed. <laughs> I know you bought that purse. Good guess, Veronica Mars. Look, Rita, I know it must be very hard to sell your things, but do you enjoy being broke? 
Well, I guess you guys are right. Tomorrow, I'm going to start selling for real. Okay. So, uh, what was your total for today? $5.56? That's pathetic. Oh, I have more in my pocket. That's $7.56. Who's pathetic now? You were never going to believe what Charles did now. Don't tell me he got another woman pregnant. What in the name of the NBA is wrong with men? No, he called to yell at me for canceling his utilities. How do you know it was you? I left him a note. Spray painted on his garage. Subtle. I wanted him to know it was me. And I'm not done yet. Sugar, what are you gonna do, give him diabetes? Better. I'm gonna put it in the tank of his brand new Range Rover. Oh, wait, uh, his car will be completely ruined. Don't you think that's going too far? There's no such thing as too far when it comes to a broken heart. And after Charles, we can do JT's car. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, Shelly's not going to jail. <laughs> I think this revenge thing is getting a little out of hand. I'm already feeling bad about the Shaq prank I played on JT. He deserved it. You should hate him. But I don't. You know, Jane and Rita were right. At some point, you have to let go of the pain and move on. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what you need to do before you wind up in front of a judge. Wait, so you're letting off the hook? I'm just tired of being mad. It's separating me from my friends. Oh, <laughs> so you and JT are gonna be friends now. I don't know about friends, but we could at least be civil. Fine, fine. Oprah, your way through life, talking about things. <laughs> I'm a woman of action. <laughs> Girl, can you loan me a funnel? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be your accomplice. They always arrest the black girl first. <laughs> I'll give you five dollars for this racket. What, what are you kidding? This, that's a Wilson Triad. I'll give you 20. Man, this is the racket Serena uses. I'll give you 30. I'll give you 40. <sighs> Too rich for my blood. Damn, outbid again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great. Okay, now go jack up the price on the leather mini dress. Okay, but this time I'm not a tranny. It's for my sister. <laughs> How you holding up? Well, pretty good. I mean, these greedy scavengers are ripping my heart out of my chest, but at least I know I have to pay my cell phone bill. Wait one second. Hey, you know, those are real Manolo Blahniks. It's my first time even holding a pair. And they're my size. <laughs> How much? A bargain at $75. Oh. Hey, wait a second. You know what? I love these shoes, and I want them to have a good home. You can have them. For free? Yeah, enjoy them. Just don't wear them with socks. <laughs> I promise. Aww. Thank you. You're welcome. That was a really nice thing you just did. Jamie, I think I know more than anyone, fashion saves lives. <sighs> hey, you guys. Hey. hey. When you're done here, why don't we all go to the movies? Uh, I don't think the six of us at the movies is a good idea. Yes, it is. I miss my friends, and I want us all to be together. Even me? Even you. I think we should try to get along for everybody's sake. Well, hey, I've been trying to get along. You were the one who got us kicked out of the... You know what? Popcorn's on me. Cool. But I want nachos, though. I'll take a couple of hot dogs. I want a pretzel. <laughs> Oh, you can want a lot of things. But I said I'm buying popcorn, so that's one large tub and six napkins. <laughs> what are you yawning for? The movie hasn't even started yet. We got up at 5 because I had a 6 a.m. therapy session with Shaq. And he never showed. Stuff <laughs> like that is why he and Kobe couldn't get along. You know, when I called his people, they didn't know anything about it. I wish I'd known that before I asked how his groin felt. Sounds like somebody's pulling your leg. 
<laughs> well, you know, that is so childish. Who would be petty enough to do something like that? <laughs> <laughs> You're growing mad. <laughs> Great, uh, dog. So, uh, Shaq will meet you at your office tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, that's, that's off early, um, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's early for me too, man. I like to sleep in on Sunday. <laughs> Hey, suit yourself, buddy. We can always find someone else. No, 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 no. I'll, uh, I'll be there. Um, thank you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I can't believe we gonna meet Shaq. <laughs> we, 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 we. I'm sorry, man, but uh, this is business. Either I go with you or I go without you. But I'm going. So, how do you feel now? I feel great. Mm -hmm. Or should I say, great, dog. <laughs> How much for these? A hundred dollars. I'll give you ten. Sold. Why did you just sell my soul? I'll give you twenty bucks for it. Oh, oh uh, I am so sorry. No problem. Whoever selling this stuff has great taste. Well, thank you. Your purse is fabulous. How much was it? Two hundred. I'll give you one fifty. Deal. There we go. One fifty. Enjoy. Did that woman just hand you her purse? Purse? What purse? Oh, where did this come from? I've been framed. I know you bought that purse. Good guess, Veronica Mars. Look, Rita, I know it must be very hard to sell your things, but do you enjoy being broke? Well, I guess you guys are right. Tomorrow, I'm going to start selling for real. Okay. So, uh, what was your total for today? Five dollars and fifty-six cents? That's pathetic. Oh, I have more in my pocket. That's seven dollars and fifty-six cents. Who's pathetic now? <sighs> you were never going to believe what Charles did now. Don't tell me he got another woman pregnant. <laughs> What in the name of the NBA is wrong with men? <laughs> no, he called to yell at me for canceling his utilities. How do you know it was you? I left him a note. Spray painted on his garage. <laughs> Subtle. I wanted him to know it was me. And I'm not done yet. Sugar, what are you gonna do, give him diabetes? <laughs> Better, I'm gonna put it in the tank of his brand new Range Rover. Oh, wait. Uh, his car will be completely ruined. Don't you think that's going too far? There's no such thing as too far when it comes to a broken... Uh, give me a large tub and uh, a Coke. Uh, me too. Um, you want to pass your money down, Chef? Cheapskate. <laughs> I'm through paying for your tape, one. Hey, you know what, uh, Shelly, um, I'll get this one, my tray. <laughs> Thank you, Donovan. Real men pay. Yeah, that's true. Of course, there are exceptions. <laughs> when the hell is this movie gonna start? I hear this film's really good. Yeah, and I think Angelina Jolie went at the lip side. Ooh, you know, she must go through a tube of lipstick a day. I know. Could you guys keep it down, please? Why? The movie hasn't even started yet. Yeah, but I'm trying to answer the trivia questions. I need to concentrate. <laughs> Why don't you concentrate on not worrying about what I'm doing down here? Well, how could I? You're so loud, the whole theater can hear you. Shh. See? She wasn't shushing me. She was shushing you. Go, guys, guys, come on. Come on, let's just, let's just watch the movie. Yeah. We're supposed to be having fun. Well, I was until JT started shushing me like he's somebody's mama. Me? You started. Shh. Oh, shh. Guys, 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 will you both just sit down so we can watch the movie? Sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you and your party to leave. <laughs> Believe me, buddy, this ain't a party. <laughs> You really showed your behind last night. I'm sorry. It's just that as soon as I saw JT, I got so mad. It was a red haze in front of my eyes. Ooh, 
You sound kind of crazy. In that case, I shouldn't mention a little voice in my head that kept saying, stab him, stab him. <laughs> okay, well, hold off on the homicide until after my garage sale. JT's gonna help me move the heavy stuff. He's gonna be there? In that case, I can't go. You know you didn't want to help. Yeah, but now I have a real excuse. <laughs> oh, I have held my tongue. Since when? <laughs> All right. I haven't held my tongue. But you won't listen. You and JT are over. Just let it go. Yeah, life goes on, Shells. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I dare to share. Clearly, no one cares about my feelings. I'll just go bleed inside. <laughs> Fine, just don't bleed on the carpet. Hi, Claudia. Your dress is ready. It is so beautiful. It'll make you cry. <laughs> I love my job. There isn't going to be a wedding. <gasps> oh, honey, what happened? I just found out that Charles got another woman pregnant. <laughs> I am so sorry. How much do I owe you? The oh. balance is one thousand. <laughs> Did that woman just hand you her purse? Purse? What purse? Oh, <gasps> where did this come from? I've been framed. I know you bought that purse. Good guess, Veronica Mars. Look, Rita, I know it must be very hard to sell your things, but do you enjoy being broke? Well, I guess you guys are right. Tomorrow, I'm going to start selling for real. Okay. So, uh, what was your total for today? $5.56? That's pathetic. Oh, I have more in my pocket. That's $7.56. Who's pathetic now? <laughs> You were never going to believe what Charles did now. Don't tell me he got another woman pregnant. <laughs> what in the name of the NBA is wrong with men? <laughs> no, he called to yell at me for canceling his utilities. How do you know it was you? I left him a note. Spray painted on his garage. <laughs> Subtle. I wanted him to know it was me. And... I'm not done yet. Sugar, what are you gonna do, give him diabetes? <laughs> Better, I'm gonna put it in the tank of his brand new Range Rover. Oh, wait, uh, his car will be completely ruined. Don't you think that's going too far? There's no such thing as too far when it comes to a broken heart. And after Charles, we can do JT's car. Oh, no! <laughs> wait a minute, uh, Shelly's not going to jail. <laughs> I think this revenge thing is getting a little out of hand. I'm already feeling bad about the Shaq prank I played on JT. He deserved it. You should hate him. But I don't. You know, Janie and Rita were right. At some point, you have to let go of the pain and move on. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what you need to do before you wind up in front of a judge. <laughs> Wait, so you're letting off the hook? I'm just tired of being mad. It's separating me from my friends. Oh, <laughs> so you and JT are gonna be friends now. I don't know about friends, but we could at least be civil. Fine. Fine. Oprah, your way through life, talking about things. <laughs> I'm a woman of action. <laughs> Girl, can you loan me a funnel? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be your accomplice. They always arrest the black girl first. <laughs> I'll give you five dollars for this racket. What, what are you kidding? This, that's a Wilson Triad. I'll give you 20. Man, this is the racket Serena uses. I'll give you 30. I'll give you 40. Dog. Yeah, that's early for me too, man. I like to sleep in on Sunday. Hey, suit yourself, buddy. We can always find someone else. No, 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 no. I'll, uh, I'll be there. Um, thank you. Thank you, bro. Shot. <laughs> well, we. we. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but uh, this is business. Either I go with you or I go without you. But I'm going. So, how do you feel now? I feel great. Mm -hmm. Or should I say, great, dog? <laughs> how much?
how much for these? A hundred dollars. I'll give you ten. Sold. Why did you just sell my soul? I'll give you twenty bucks for it. Oh. Oh. Uh, I am so sorry. No problem. Whoever selling this stuff has great taste. Well, thank you. Your purse is fabulous. How much was it? Two hundred. I'll give you one fifty. Deal. There you go. One fifty. Enjoy. Did that woman just hand you her purse? Purse? What purse? Oh, where did this come from? I've been framed. <laughs> I know you bought that purse. Good guess, Veronica Mars. Look, Rita, I know it must be very hard to sell your things, but do you enjoy being broke? Well, I guess you guys are right. Tomorrow, I'm going to start selling for real. Okay. So, uh, what was your total for today? Five dollars and fifty-six cents? That's pathetic. Oh, I have more in my pocket. That's seven dollars and fifty-six cents. Who's pathetic now? <sighs> you were never going to believe what Charles did now. Don't tell me he got another woman pregnant. <laughs> what in the name of the NBA is wrong with men? <laughs> no, he called to yell at me for canceling his utilities. How do you know it was you? I left him a note. Spray painted on his garage. <laughs> Subtle. I wanted him to know it was me. And I'm not done yet. Sugar, what are you gonna do, give him diabetes? <laughs> Better, I'm gonna put it in the tank of his brand new Range Rover. Oh, wait, uh, his car will be completely ruined. Don't you think that's going too far? There's no such thing as too far when it comes to a broken heart. And after Charles, we can do JT's car. Oh, no! <laughs> wait a minute, uh, Shelly's not going to jail. I think this revenge thing is getting a little out of hand. I'm already feeling... Well, he pulled his groin. Bedroom injury. <laughs> oh, been there. Who hasn't? <laughs> yeah, but uh, why doesn't he just go to the team trainer? Oh, uh, he's embarrassed. <laughs> and you come highly recommended as the best physical therapist in town. <laughs> well, yes, I, I am the best. <laughs> I'm your groin man. <laughs> Great. Uh, dog, so, uh, Shaq will meet you at your office tomorrow morning at 6 a.m.? Uh, 6 a.m. tomorrow? That's, that's off early, um, dog. Yeah, that's early for me, too, man. I like to sleep in on Sunday. Shh. Hey, suit yourself, buddy. We can always find someone else. No, 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 no. I'll, uh, I'll be there. Um, thank you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I can't believe we gonna meet Shaq. <laughs> well, we... we. I'm sorry, man, but uh, this is business. Either I go with you or I go without you, but I'm going. So, how do you feel now? I feel great. Mm -hmm. Or should I say, great, dog. <laughs> how much for these? A hundred dollars. I'll give you ten. Sold. Just sell my soul. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Oh, oh uh, I am so sorry. No problem. Whoever selling this stuff has great taste. Well, oh, thank you. Your purse is fabulous. How much was it? 200. I'll give you 150. Deal. There you go. 150. Enjoy. Thank you. Did that woman just hand you her purse? Purse? What purse? Oh, where did this come from? I've been framed. I know you bought that purse. Good guess, Veronica Mars. Look, Rita, I know it must be very hard to sell your things, but do you enjoy being broke? Well, I guess you guys are right. Tomorrow, I'm going to start selling for real. Okay. So, uh, what was your total for today? dollars and 56 cents that's pathetic oh i have more in my pocket that's seven dollars and 56 cents who's pathetic now <sighs> oh, 
You were never going to believe what Charles did now. Don't tell me he got another woman pregnant. <laughs> what in the name of the NBA is wrong with men? <laughs> no, he called to yell at me for canceling his utilities. How do you know it was you? I left him a note. Spray painted on his garage. 